Hello guys and be welcome to another inbox review. This time we have the exclusive 148 Westland Sea King from Airfix. This is the brand new kit, just shipped from India and we got hold of it for, for us today. So stay tuned and let's see what's inside the box. So, let's open the box. I'm going to open this box with you guys. I haven't open yet i just came from the presentation i'm just arriving home today uh, i stayed overnight so it was a very long journey for myself and um so the box is a new airfix improved box where you can see the bit there is overlapping so that you don't damage your box. The other thing that they've done, Airfix done as well, is that each box comes on their individual outer carton. So when they hit the shops, <coughs> when they hit the shops, the shop just have to stick a label into it, send it out, and job done. So first things first, they come in multiple bags with only two sprues on each bag, which for me is a win already, as you all know, I hate massive bags full of loads of sprues, there you go, another one, and you can see this is a big, big boy, and another bag, so three bags of sprues, <laughs> then we got the instructions, So we got the instructions, the decals, and the versions. I'm going to start with the versions because I'm going to launch you a challenge to all of you. So we have, this is version D, version C. Let's do this in order so that you guys can. So we have version A, which is the Westland Seeking HAS-1. From the number 826 Naval Air Squadron, Royal Air Navy, stationed Coldors Cornwall, England, 1970. So this is the version from 1970. This is 1988, HAS-5 from the Naval Air Squadron, Royal Naval Station, from Cornwall as well. So AB, <coughs> we have C, which I think is one of my favorites because it's the... Uh, rescue one have the cub the the cub on the on the fuselage as well so I, I quite like this one so this is the westland seeking hu5 from the royal naval station in cornwall but this is the search and rescue one and we have the heli operations portland dorset england 2022 i do like this one as well and i would love to do both if possible but is impossible I can do both, I can only do one. So my question to you guys is, which do you want to see represented? I'm going to start building this one soon. So let me know in the comments, which version do you want to see me building? And we go with that one. Right, so let's start with the, <coughs> with the instructions, I'm sorry. So we have the HAS1, HAS5, HU5 and each one of them are drilled in different places you can see the red dots here is where you have to drill so it's important for you to know which version you're going to do beforehand so that you can uh, drill the floor appropriately so i think this is absolutely amazing and very well done to where fix then you have all the other different holes on the fuselage as well that you need to drill but they tell you in advance you just need to choose the version in advance and what you need to do for HAS1, you have to drill these holes and and so on and so forth. And the bottom, same thing. So then you start uh, with the assembly proper, pro, uh, as per se. One thing I like on the new instructions of Fairfix, and abs I think they're absolutely amazing, is that they are colored. So you know which part you are doing and which part you're gonna, gonna take. So you see in red, red, red. 
which is really good for the scale modeler if it is an inexperienced an one you will uh, you will see that fairly easy so you have all the detailed cockpit and uh, you might say why so much detail if he's going to be closed as a modeler i always say i know it's there is my personal satisfaction and i think that pretty much all of us are the same as long as we know that he's there is worth uh, the trouble so you have loads of details for the you have raised panels for the for the instrument panels and whatnot and there you go that's there's loads loads of details that are absolutely delicious um to see you can see the the seats here as well um more seats and um, the detail of the station on here and again the good thing about it is that this is just one enclosure so i think one of the things that has been said is that this could be a kit on its own just this cockpit part and it would be absolutely fantastic to have it just just as one piece of so that you could display although we asked if we could have um a clear part so that we could see the 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 inside but due, due to costs um, is impossible because then the tool would be initialized for the other ones so here we have cockpit all done um, and interior all done then go to the fuselage glasses go from outside to inside so if you happen to press them they're not going to go anywhere which for me is a good thing because as you can see with these sausage fingers I will destroy everything so it's not it's not that great so as you can see like I said the interior is one part now the fuselage are gonna embrace it and finishing it so again it's fairly detailed you have all the options that you can have you have the radomes and again we have the version a you have one type of symbol bcd you have another type and then bcd take the this rod on, on the back so it's it's fairly comprehensive <coughs> i'm sorry guys and fairly easy to follow as you can see there's not much to go wrong on here um you have the um, the floaters here as well the landing gear you can have it up or down so you can replicate it in flight you can replicate it uh, as a standing uh, and again loads loads of options you have in some in uh, detail on here the tail rotor is just is two pieces and this part is um is individual and the good thing about this one is because it's so big and for me is a, is a place that you can have it folded or ready to fly um so i'll probably do my one folded due to space space constraints but we'll see how it goes uh, canopy i'm not the very big biggest fan of this of having three separated parts <clears throat> but again due to design and tooling and all those things has to be in three parts not the greatest fan but from the test shots i've seen they seem to go well so we'll see how it goes you have the the sand filter on here as well so it's really good it's really the tail and then as years progress you have more and more added to the to the helicopter so version a which is the 1978 i think i believe no 1970 you barely have any antennas or any any pitots while on the b version you start having some more c version a little bit more d version a lot more so yeah again all all depends and varies on the version that you want to assemble and from that you can choose and put your stuff in here so you have the winch as well and the camera i think this this is one is for the search and rescue so you have camera winch a fairly fairly detailed winch that you can assemble on here then you have the the stairs to be uh, on for, uh, open or closed same thing with the door can be open or closed rotor tail 
as you can see you can have it folded or you can have it open same thing with the top plates the rotors are absolutely amazing i think they are they have done a very very good job for such a tiny part with so much detail although there's always the possibility of scratch building so get that lead wires out and start doing some piping around here so again you have the open version as you can see here or you have the closed version as you can see here so unfortunately we can't have both on the same but we can have one or the other and here we go the fully assembled model as you can see which is absolutely delightful to see decals wise again cartograph decals there's not much to say a fine impression very vivid colors I, I can't i can't fault them yet um if there's any issues during the um, the assembly i'll let you guys know and uh i'll tell you all about it so yeah so now comes the interesting part the sprues all right i'm gonna get them in order so that we don't mess up anything so we have the first sprue let's open it let's see what is it here so in resemblance to other brands now we have the airfix sprues marked with the letters here so it's easier to identify you have sprue f you have sprue g and so on and so forth sprue e so in here you have all the the bottom details so you have the bottom um you have seats all of those things and i think this is going to be the winch or part of the winch the front which is absolutely amazing again very 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 good detail you have the pontons here as well which you have the the raised panel there away because this doesn't like much the camera doesn't like it so you have the the bits there and the the details are absolutely amazing you know just absolutely flabbergasted with all the amount of details that we have um moving on we have this bit here with another load of things you have the camera here for the for the search and rescue thing all these details uh, the console it's it looks absolutely amazing clear parts let's open quickly and check it quickly clear parts are a treat as you can see no scratches no damage you have one clear part with the windscreen the wind wiper uh, shield wipers <coughs> on i'm sorry um on or you can add them later again they are very very well polished there's no scratches no nothing absolutely perfect to a t again so big shout out for these clear parts which are absolutely perfect um let me just put it this back in because i want to keep them as it is i don't want to damage them so Having said that, it's time to move to the next screws, which will be this one. Let's take these out of the way. There is so much going on, on a super god, guys. So much, but so much. It's absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely love all, all of this. I was checking the test shot screws, uh, and they were absolutely amazing. And now, being able to hold them is even better. So again, you have all of these in here. It looks absolutely amazing. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, you have the seats here, which are absolutely amazing as well. You have the um, try to replicate the folds and the crease on the um, on the seats, the cockpit panels or the, the interior panels absolutely amazing as well all these tiny details looks really good I know that for some of you the recessed rivets are not 
very much up to your liking and you would much prefer to see raised rivets. Although I must agree that recreating all these rivets in raised um, raised texture, um, personally, I wouldn't like it as much because it would like look like a a cheese grater, and uh, I don't think they would look very much to scale. Although I might be wrong, I might be absolutely wrong and talking rubbish, but personally. I much rather prefer seeing this way than the, the raised ones. But again, let me know in the comments your opinions. They are always well well appreciated. Um, we have the top rotor bit. Um, the head of the rotor, which you can see has some detail in it. And it's completely in two parts. This part and this part. Blades. They are straight, as you can see, although um, you can bend them very, very easily. They are very, very easily to bend without damaging, so that's not an issue. You can replicate the sag of the blades anytime, no issue at all. Um, and that's it, look, there's all these small parts and whatnot. They are absolutely amazing. Very, very, very good details. <clears throat> And absolutely love it. So now let's go to the to the main one. The fuselage itself. The big 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 fuselage. So let's have a look. I'm gonna set this one aside for now. So again there's loads loads of rivets around. And I've, I've been next to the, the real thing yesterday. And yes, there is loads of rivets. And again, if you are to replicate all of these in um, high... I don't know how to say it. Blimey. I forgot to... But if you were to replicate the other way around, they would look far too much. One thing I think is lovely is that if you notice here, you have raised panels. So you have a slight raised panels. This is to replicate the overlapping of the, the panels on the real thing. Same thing in here. So on the real thing, they overlap the rivet. That's what Airfix tried to recreate. Tried, they tried to recreate these overlap panels so that um, you can get a better perception of it. So it's really, really good and very great attention to detail. Same thing on here. You can see, so you have one. And same here in here. So all of this as an intention is not there's no panel lines because they are trying to replicate the, the overlap of the panels, which is absolutely good. And you can pick them up easily with either with a dry brush, a little bit of oils. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, looks absolutely amazing. The mesh here, if you can see, the attention to details to the mesh. It doesn't look real, but when well painted and weathered, it, it fools a lot. It fools really well, so it's good. Um, injector pins, nothing to worry about about them, because as you see on the instructions, the interior is going to be enclosed on, um, on a case of itself, so you're just going to cover that this with that thing. So it's... Very, very well done that they done the injector pins on here, where they're not going to be seen, which is a thumbs up for Airfix. And then, last but not least, we have, like we said, the interior enclosure, the flooring, and again, the, the, the attempt to repli replicate the crest for the, for the fabrics is absolutely amazing, it's absolutely stunning. Um, the details for the cables, for me, looks absolutely incredible uh, the is be the definition that I, I never seen them uh doing that so it's absolutely thumbs up for airfix so again this is gonna be on shops from um, mid-august so the new ones are coming on the way now as we speak so um grab yourself one of them let's build and let me know in the comments which version do you want to see built a b c or d let me know i'm gonna start 
fairly soon so the sooner you tell me the better and if you don't want to miss the video build like and subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed this video thank you ever so much for watching please leave your comment please leave your like everything counts thank you ever so much bye bye